A lot of people say look where you are going. I rather say look where you want to go. Vision plays a very important role in a rider's style of riding. It is very important to know that wherever you look, the bike goes there. And I'm going to teach you some of the techniques that you can improve in your vision and become a better rider. My name is Vikrant from the Top in India Riding Academy. Subscribe, like, share and hit that notification button. In today's episode, we're going to learn about vision. Vision plays a very important role when it comes to motorcycle riding. It is always the case that where you look, the motorcycle goes there. It is actually a mind-hand coordination. Wherever you look, the motorcycle will point there. In everyday riding, we sometimes come across a situation where there is a pothole or a stone and you're trying to avoid it, but you keep looking at it, get your vision locked onto it and eventually find out that you overrun the pothole or you overrun that same stone that you were trying to avoid at the first place. So if a motorcycle rider knows what vision is and how important it is and where to look exactly when he's riding, it will go in a long way to keep him or her safe while riding a motorbike. So let's take an example of this MotoGP rider. Currently it is Mark Marcus at the game. And let's see what and exactly how and where he's looking while he is turning. As you can see in this image right here, that's Mark Marcus uh, on the Xbox game. You can fairly make out that the motorcycle is pointing in one direction, but his head is aggressively turned even at a more angle than compared to the motorcycle. So the motorcycle is pointing in one direction, but his head is turning deeper into the turn. It's a left-hander guy, so remember, he's turning left and he's looking left deeper into the turn where he exactly wants to go. So remember guys, you look where you want to go. I'm showing you a rare angle right now. From the rear, you can see that it's a left-handed turn and the bike is pointing straight towards this room over here. But Marcus, he's looking on the left. The rider is looking on the left. He is looking where he wants to be when he takes the turn. If he looks straight into here, he will go there. But if he's look here, the motorbike will point there. Now this is a classic example when some of the riders, especially in a corner and they approach very fast, they either overrun or they meet with an accident. This is one of the very basic reasons that when he's approaching a corner and he realizes that it's too fast in the corner, the vision gets locked onto a particular point where he thinks that he's going to go and crash and eventually that's what happens. One thing to remember is if you could change your vision while approaching a corner, it will help you to take that corner very efficiently. So when we talk about vision, there is also another vision called the peripheral vision. Now peripheral vision is something that you are not looking at an object directly, but you can still make out that the object is there. So right now, as you can see, I'm looking in the camera, but there is a pencil on the right corner of my eye. Although I'm not looking at the pencil, but I can feel that the pencil is moving. That is my peripheral vision for everyone including the motorcycle rider, this peripheral vision is very important and you have to trust this peripheral vision. It does capture a lot of information and your brain does process that information very well. So trust your peripheral vision. It helps you to identify few objects, especially in a junction. A junction is rich with a lot of traffic. You need not go looking and hunting for identifying all the threats. Just monitor them once. Once you've locked on to these targets, your peripheral vision will take care. In an escape situation, let's say there is a traffic coming from on the right side in a junction and you are going straight. If you keep looking at the traffic, your vision will get locked onto the traffic. And let's say if the traffic doesn't slow down, there are chances that you might go head on to that traffic. So in this situation, it's better to trust your peripheral vision that yes, the traffic is there. You identified the threat. But where you have to look is essentially is your escape route. You need to look where you want to be. You want to avoid this traffic coming at the 90 degree angle. So you look where you have to go. Identify it. Peripheral vision has targeted it. Now trust your main vision. Change your focus and you will point there. It comes in very handy, especially in a single lane carriage highways. In the hills perhaps where there are a lot of turns. 
and you realize that you are in a corner and suddenly you see an oncoming traffic. Now here again, unfortunately many accidents have taken place because the rider once in the turn has seen that there is a head-on oncoming traffic and his eyes are locked onto that traffic. Because he is locked onto that traffic, he goes head-on to that traffic. In these scenarios, I would say on the road that yes, you identified that there is an oncoming traffic, but now start looking at your escapes. What are the ways? Is there any other way? I, as a rider, would go maybe say in a ditch if there's a threatening situation, then go on head on to the traffic because I know it could be fatal. I can survive with few broken bones if I go into a ditch, but I can definitely not survive going head on onto the traffic. So if you do realize there is a traffic, change your vision, change your focus, find escape routes, your bike will go there. So just to sum it up guys, vision plays a very important role for a motorcycle rider. Always remember wherever you look, the motorcycle will go there. It comes in very handy, especially in turns, always in the corner, look where you want to be, where your exit is. Do not look at other traffics or other situations where you will go there. Also in a road scenario, if you're approaching a junction and you know that there is some traffic coming out, do identify that threat, your peripheral vision will take care of it, but always look at the escape, always look where you want to go, your bike will go there. Even small situations like potholes and stones, if you want to avoid it, identify it first, let the peripheral vision take care of it. Avoid the stone by looking at where you want to go guys. So I hope you liked this episode. If you've liked it, please hit the like button. If you're watching on YouTube, do subscribe to us and share. If you're watching on Instagram, do follow us on. Thank you very much. We'll be back with more such videos.